So you can see our duplicator six right here, and just a couple things. We will need to cut these straps off right here. There's some uh, zip ties that are holding your smooth rods in place. Go ahead and take those off. So I just wanted to scoot the printer up so you can get a better view of it. And then I wanted to show you some of the stuff that they give you with this printer. So you can see right here, they give you a free school of PLA filament, which is the Wanhao brand. This is actually very good filament, and you will definitely like the quality of your prints with this filament. So we have one of those. They'll give you an extra pad to print on if for some reason you mess the current one. I, I personally like printing on glass, um, but these pads do work if you need to use one of these. They'll give you a spatula, which you'll be cleaning the models off your bed with and also kind of scraping on your bed if you have some leftover filament. You'll have your power cord, your USB cable. This is your filament spool holder and this will be installed on the back of the printer. We have an SD card which they give you a four gigabyte SD card. Here we have our SD card reader. They give you some Allen wrenches and then also there's the knob that goes to the LCD screen and then a PTFE tube. We have some tweezers for cleaning our nozzle. So as far as setting up your Duplicator 6 printer, there's only a couple things you need to do, and that's install the filament spool holder, and then install your front knob that goes on to control your LCD panel. So we'll go ahead and install this first. It's pretty simple. You're going to go ahead and make sure the part that you're going to be tightening up to mount to this is faced up so that you can actually spin your Allen wrench around. So we'll go ahead and reach around here, match that hole up right there, and we'll tighten this up. You can see right there it's tight so we have our front knob installed to control our LCD screen. We'll spin this around. You can see on the back of the duplicator 6 this is the ribbon cable that's going to go and control the extruder and all that stuff in the, on the top there. You have your plug which you're going to be plugging into your computer or you know Raspberry Pi or whatever you're going to use. We have our plug for our uh, printer that we'll be plugging into the wall. And then this is where your filament spool holder is going to go. So the notch for this is actually cut out on the other side. So when you're screwing this in, it'll actually tighten up. So make sure you reach around, push your nut in there, and then go ahead and screw your filament spool holder. Now that we have that tight, it's actually off just a little bit, so you can unscrew your filament spool holder and just kind of spin your nut around one more time and then screw it back in. And there we go. So I went ahead and plugged the power cable in the back, so we'll go ahead and flip that on. We're going to need to preheat our extruder so that we can go ahead and load some filament in and then the printer is ready to print as far as leveling the bed. So the easiest way to do that is to select your material, hit your button, go to change, change, hit your button. It'll go ahead and move your extruder into the middle and it'll start preheating it. Whenever this is finished preheating, then we can go ahead and load our filament in through the top and set our spool on the back of the printer. So our filament is ready to be installed in our MK11 extruder. What we're going to do is we're going to take our first part of our filament and I went ahead and trimmed it kind of at an angle because that first notch that's in your roll of filament is bent. So you want to just go ahead and cut that off. So we cut it at kind of an angle so it's a little bit easier to guide into the um, MK11 extruder. So we'll go ahead and straighten this out as straight as we can get it and we'll go ahead and insert it into the top 
of our MK11 extruder. Push down your lever and you can kind of guide it in manually. And we want to make sure that we see some filament coming out of the bottom. So we see a good amount of filament coming out of the bottom of our extruder. So we're good as far as loading our filament. Now we can go ahead and preheat the printer and start leveling our bed. To level your bed, you're gonna go to maintenance. So we'll scroll down there, push our button on maintenance. And now we need to select build plate, select build plate, push the button in, and it says, I will guide you through this process of adjusting your build plate. So we'll hit continue. And it says, rotate the button until the nozzle is a millimeter away from the build plate. So we can see right there, it's going to move over to the back, I guess. And we will set our height on our printer until it's a millimeter away from the nozzle. So an easy way to use it is put a piece of paper in there. And so we are good right there. We'll go ahead and hit continue. Now, this is where on your printer, it's better to use a piece of paper because you wanna make sure that you're just getting a slight resistance on your nozzle as you're leveling your bed. So, another way of leveling your bed, of course, is to print a, uh, like a two millimeter square that goes around the end of your bed which is basically just a strip and you can level this while you're printing. So we'll go ahead and loosen this up just a little bit. Good right there, we'll hit continue. We'll go over to the next point. That looks good right there, hit continue. really low there so we'll go ahead and loosen this up all right hit continue Good there on the left corner. Hit continue again. And we are good right there. So we've leveled our bed. Now the next step is to insert your material, which you would just hit continue and it would start preheating your extruder, but we don't actually need to do that right now. So our printer is ready to print and we're good to go.